Hi guys, um, so yeah, a little bit about why we kind of joined up in the Catalyst program and why we're so excited about the work that EHF is doing. I think probably the number one thing is, look at all this unfuck the world sitting in front of us. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is what it's really all about. And we got involved uh, uh, last year uh, in a little way and we, we kind of came along and felt the energy in the room and participated in some stuff and started talking to people afterwards. And what we could tell is that this mission had the incredible ability to bring uh, people from all over the world with all different viewpoints who can out, uh, work together to create this kind of collective uh, push forward and momentum in, in the world around us. Um, you know, today I think uh, one of the, the things that spoke to me the most was when Charlie got up and, and talked about um, taking a more holistic view of nature and our participation in that. And, you know, me as a technologist, you know, uh, probably the opposite of Melissa, actually. I started as a farmer and come from a farming background and as a technologist kind of f trying to figure out how I'd fit in today. And the thing that was really kind of key for me is that, that um, making the world a, bit, a better place to live in takes lots of little things and all of us doing their part in that space. And what we're trying to do in Centrality is a little piece of that, that, that kind of dynamic as well, is how can we repair a little thing that we're seeing in the world. And if I take farming as an example, it's quite interesting to hear the speakers talk this morning, coming up um, as, a, as a rural kid and, and growing up on a farm and listening to my granddad talk about the way he farmed and, and sitting on the knee of my great, great granddad when I was younger, and he probably imparted me some wisdom then as well, was actually what they're talking about today in, in regenerative farming is actually just what my grandfather and his grandfather called farming. And we've kind of, as a, as a society, we've taken technology by the bit and kind of driven forward and said, you know, we can do all these things, and because we can do them, we will do them, and without thinking about what the consequences of those things are. And so when, when I hear about us coming back full circle and talking about, you know, these practices again, it really makes my heart swell, you know, being from the land. And we're trying to do a little bit of that ourselves. Um, we think technology's got this great potential um, to, to solve a lot of problems, and... Uh, I think the early days of the internet, it started out like that and um, it was about democratising information and getting education into places that never had it before and providing access to services to people who never experienced them before. Um, but, but what we've all seen, and I think anyone in this room who's kind of following current events has, has kind of got to this point where it's going the opposite direction. You know, we're seeing the use of technology, particularly information technology, um, going down a path which is terrible for humanity, for society, and having impacts in the real world. You know, we see a situation where your information has been harvested, it's been packaged up, it's been you know, unwittingly or um, carelessly sold off to third parties. They're taking that information. That information is used to influence the outcome of an election, the outcome of that election gets someone into power who one of the first things they start to do is destroy the planet. And so these digital um, identities or our virtual selves are starting to be used against us in a way that's impacting our physical world. And what centrality is about is about taking uh, technology and helping to shift it back, you know, to put the maybe some of the rights, um, or some of the wrongs that we've started to do with this thing and put it back into a little bit more equilibrium, a little bit more balance. And we're, I'm all about equality. That's the one thing I want to do with this business, with this organisation, um, with this community, is give people back control of their virtual selves, use that virtual selves in processes where they participate better in the economy and help grow a more equal technology ecosystem. And blockchain has the power to do that through being able to decentralise ownership of things, to decentralise data and information storage, the way those things are used in processes, and help us take back control from some of these big companies who are doing things with our information, with our data, with, it, with the money that we're investing in these businesses that we didn't expect or that we don't want. So, you know, we're doing that. Um, in New Zealand, we raised um, close to 100 million US dollars um, to start um, really making an impact in this space. Uh, we have, you know, 70 or so engineers here in New Zealand and, and teams all around the world working on trying to solve these problems. And in New Zealand here, actually, uh, with your fellow participants, uh, the guys from Indigicoin are, are here. Um, they're in our incubation program now, working out how to take blockchain technology 
and apply it in the, in the Maori economy. And so how can we create a decentralised economy with the values of Maori built into it? And those types of projects are the kinds of things we're really interested in. Really keen to talk to any of you that are thinking about doing things that are going to decentralise a process, give people more control of their information, get wider participation in the economic system for people who are missing out. If those are things that make you happy, then they'll make us happy, and we can work together on those things. So thanks, guys. Really excited to be part of it. Hand you back to the people making difference. Thank you.